North Korea fired off yet another missile. It's the third such provocation since the South's Moon Jae-in administration launched less than a month ago. Kim Hyun-bin zooms in on what's becoming the Hermit Kingdom's weekly routine. In the early hours of Monday morning, North Korea launched what appeared to be a short-range missile from Wonsan on its east coast. South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff said the missile is assumed to be Scud class and it flew about 450 kilometers. The U.S. Pacific Command has said the missile was tracked from North Korea for six minutes before it landed in the sea, inside Japan's exclusive economic zone. South Korea's JCS condemned the launch, calling it a clear violation of U.N. Security Council resolutions and warned Pyongyang to stop its provocations, which hindered the peace and security of the region. This most recent launch shows that the regime is trying to enhance its nuclear and ballistic missile capabilities despite international sanctions and pressure. It seems the North is trying to put pressure on the new administration in South Korea to change its policies towards the regime. President Moon Jae-in immediately called an emergency national security council meeting. It was chaired by NSC chief and lasted for roughly 45 minutes. This is the ninth missile test the North has carried out this year, defying world pressure and threats of more sanctions, but also comes in defiance of a fresh declaration published by the G7 leaders just this past weekend, in which all seven member states pledged to strengthen their measures against North Korea, unless it agrees to abandon its nuclear and missile programs. Kim Hyun-bin, Arirang News.